Hey Kranikin crew, welcome back to the channel and in this series I'm going to be bringing back the Freebie Friday. It's going to be different in the way that it is um, presented because I'm going to judge it as it, as it is judged on Plugin Boutique uh, where, where I judge it on four points. These points would include ease of use, features, presets and sound quality. None of these plugins are available on Plugin Boutique, but I'm going to judge them as though they were. Um, so I'm going to give you free access to them and you can just go and download them um, from the websites that I give you either below the video on YouTube or in the post in the uh, last couple of paragraphs uh, on the blog post. So check that out for yourself. If you want to see the blog post, if you're on YouTube and you want to see the blog post, then you can do. It is in the description below as well. Um, and don't forget to grab your free copy of the complete guide to music marketing 2023. It's got expert advice. It's got resources that work today. And it's got aha moments. 83 pages, around about 30,000 words, a bit over 30,000 words now. Um, so you're really going to uh, enjoy that and really gonna get a lot of good stuff out of it. So check that out for yourself. Um, and now let's get on with it. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Triple EQ by Blue Cat. So let's load an instance of this software now. Um, I'm using FL Studio, so let's load Triple EQ for my Blue Cat, and this is it. Um, we're going to be judging it on the four points that I judged by on Plugin Boutique. This includes ease of use, presets, sound quality, and features. So we, we, you know, there, there is also the uh, cost um, element on Plugin Boutique, but the thing is, these are free plugins, um, so they are, you know, just, you, you know, so cost is really irrelevant because cost doesn't exist with free plugins, obviously. Um, but, but let's have a look at this. So. So as you see on the left, we have the bass frequencies section. In the middle, we have the mid range, mid the mid range frequencies, obviously. And then on the right, we have the higher frequencies. Um, it doesn't give the proper representation visually of uh, how um, it, it is doing. Uh, I'll play it for you. So there isn't any peaks or drops anywhere, um, which is a shame. Uh, obviously, because uh, that will give you a better understanding of, of how it is behaving at a different uh, frequency ranges. So we're going to do figure, let's just do features first. Okay, so there is that element to it where, where, where it, it does miss that graphical representation of how your music is behaving. Um, uh, but uh, it does have these three points here. Um, what I do like about it is that these blue and red uh, represent the two different elements in your track. So if I was to bring one down, I am now getting the element, uh, the uh, melody element um, towards right but it's much quieter than it was when it was up here when I bring it right up I can't hear much of the drum beat but uh, the um, the blue uh, the uh, melody element has switched to the other side so I think this is to do with panning
but with the red, when it's right down, it is it's easy to hear the drum beat when it's up, right to the top, and you can't really hear the drum beat. <coughs> so we have things like um, cooking menu here, presets, these are the presets, we'll go on to that in a few minutes. Looking at beaches at the moment, um, so you show the, you show the control settings, lock control settings, uh, use uh, global uh, control settings, and control settings window. So that's that. This is this arrow here is to undo what, what you used it before. Um, quiet question mark, whatever that is, manual. Just about, sorry, and then zoom, so zoom in and zoom out. And down here you have the link channels, so you can link your channels, and that means that if I was to drag it up, all of the channels will come together. Absolute. Relative. If it's a mirror, then, then if, if these blue lines are separated, if I separate them, and I want to do a mirror, I don't know if this is exactly what I thought it would. Um, I thought that it would, if, if it was mirroring it, that it will bring exactly the, the same uh, degrees, same, same decibel uh, volume level um, beneath the line to um, decrease as it would increase on the blue. So, uh, but it doesn't do that for some reason. Um, um, that's what I thought it meant by mirror. Anyway, let's have a look at the presets. So these are the presets. Actually, let, not not at this one. Just, let's look, have a look at this. Uh, our way to get them here.
so that's that then. So for ease of use, um, I would say uh, four out of five. Um, it's quite easy to use. It's, it's, it's your standard EQ as far as that's concerned, but um, it does miss the feature features on it. Do miss the graphical representation of where your track is at. Um, so that's a shame. Uh, uh, for features, then I would give it. Um, I'd give it a three. Uh, and for presets, presets are okay. Another four. Uh, and for ease of use, um, did we say ease of use before? Sound quality. I like I like the sound quality. I think the sound, the sound quality is quite good, but I don't, I don't think it, it, it's significant enough to make it worthwhile. So I think probably four for sound quality. Um, so uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. Remember, you can get this plugin from the link in the video description. So check below for that. Uh, and I will make another Freebie Friday video for you next week. Thank you.